Okay, let's start with meiosis one. And meiosis one goes through PMAT, just like mitosis, uh, but now we label it prophase one because we're gonna do PMAT twice, okay? So in meiosis, uh, sorry, in prophase one, our nuclear membrane disappears, our centrioles and spindle fibers appear, our double-stranded chromosomes condense, and they're now called chromatids, okay? And now these X-shaped chromosomes, so double-stranded chromosomes, are the same as X-shaped chromosomes, pair up with homologous pairs and exchange some DNA through crossing over. And this process is so neat, okay? Um, so the cell is diploid, okay? So now it has 46 chromosomes, right? Um, and we count them by the centromeres, okay? So we started off with 23, right? Because meiosis is just sex cells and sex cells start with 23 whereas our body cells have 46 chromosomes, okay? And this is so that when an egg and a sperm get together, 23 from the male, 23 from the female, and then now we have the proper number of chromosomes for a human, okay? So let's draw our cell, okay? So prophase one, we have our cell membrane, Okay. We have our centrioles that have moved to the opposite ends. Okay, and our spindle fibers appear. Okay, and our nuclear membrane is starting to disappear. I'm going to draw it as a dotted line. Okay. And now our chromosome, our chromatin, are condensing, right? And we're going to have, so I'm gonna have my pink condensed chromatids, and now these are double-stranded chromosomes, right? So our X-shaped chromosomes, these are now chromatids, right? Because they are condensed. They are homologous chromosomes, okay? And I'm gonna draw my blue pair also the same size as my pink pair. Okay, and my chromatids. Now, what's really interesting here is that uh, we have some crossing over that happens. So what that means is, let's look down here. Okay. If we have two homologous chromosomes, so I'll use my yellow and my purple. Okay, so if this is my yellow chrome set of double stranded chromosomes, so I'm just going to gently color them in here so you can see it. So it's all one color. Okay, so these are two homologous chromatids. Okay. And over here we have another set of homologous chromatids. And together these make a, homo a, a set of homologous pairs. So that means they're similar in size and they have similar DNA in the same places. What do you mean in the same places, Miss Labby? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, let me show you. Hold on, let me color this in here. Okay, so that means on the one on the left, Say we're gonna find eye color here, we're also gonna find eye color over here. Or if this is where we find what type of fingernails you have, over here is also the type of fingernails, okay? So the same kinds of information are found on the same pairs, okay? So now what happens during crossing over is the yellow and the purple one get together and they swap information, okay? So that would be like, I think of our cells as one giant. If our arm, if one arm and a leg is a chromatid and the other arm and a leg is another chromatid, if we went next to somebody else who was similar in shape and size as us, and we would say swap arms. 
So now they would have my arm and I would have their arm. Sorry, this coloring part takes just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so see, they're coming together, they're crossing over here, and then as a result, this homologous um, X-shaped chromosome has a little bit of the purple, and the purple one has a little bit of the yellow. Okay, so I'll color the rest of this one yellow. And we're just switching one section, okay? In real life, tons of this stuff is switched, okay? And that's how come if you have sisters, more than one sister in your family, nobody looks the same, okay? Because this jumble of genetic choices has been mixed around. Sorry, this is supposed to be purple. And that's how everybody looks just a little bit different. Okay, which is pretty cool. So now our purple one has some stuff from the yellow one. And our yellow one has swapped some information for from the purple one. Okay, so if this was eye color, maybe on the yellow one it had brown eyes and on the purple one it had blue eyes. So now we've swapped around and now this chroma, hom homologous chromosome has that eye color and this one has that eye color. Okay, so we're going to show the same thing up here. Okay, so with our pink and our blue, I'm going to add it to the top here. Yes, okay. So, okay, so I'm going to make this part just a little bit longer so it kind of matches up here. I'm going to swap a little piece here. Okay, so we just want them otherwise to be the same kind of shape and size. Okay, so they, these two, these homologous pairs have crossed over some of their genetic information. So if I zoom in here, you can see it just a little bit easier. Okay, and now I'll do my yellow and my purple. And my yellow and my purple one, I'm gonna make smaller, okay? So, and the only thing when doing this is you have to really keep track of what parts you have crossed over Okay, as you continue to color through each example. Okay, so we still need our central mirrors. Okay, so if we look, see the purple has a little bit of yellow, yellow has a little bit of purple, pink has a little bit of blue, blue has a little bit of pink, okay? So this is a homologous, oh, sorry, there you go homologous pair of chromosomes. Okay. And this right here is crossing over. Okay. Okay. So that is prophase one, okay? So now let's flip the page.